Bitcoin is all the hype every time. Bitcoin. 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 But what is it about this currency which makes it touch highs like $64,000 or 52 lakh rupees and lows like $16,000? Let's just open BitGet and we can see that currently it is trading at $44,000. So this hype is mostly about its volatility and its unpredictable nature. But what makes it so special? Many are suspicious of the whole Bitcoin and crypto scenario, believing that crypto is a scam. Whereas others think that it is the currency of the future. According to a report, crypto industry's annual revenue is expected to grow at a rate of 14% annually to 64 billion dollars by 2027 but there are several big names in the finance industry like my very own favorite warren buffet who has taught the art of investing and money management to millions and they call bitcoin a gambling token something like bitcoin you know it is it's a gambling token so what exactly is bitcoin and why is crypto so volatile is it a scam or the future is it too late for me to get in on it will it really replace these paper notes or if it is only an instrument for terrorism well, I personally had all these questions and more about it that I'm sure you might also have. Now, answering all these questions in a single video won't be possible, but let's understand the basics of crypto and how you can get started with it in your college days. So I went to Google, read hundreds of articles, played around asking questions with ChatGPT and met industry leaders to understand the ins and outs of it. And I'll be sharing all of these insights with you in digestible sizes so that you can get the answers to the questions yourself about crypto and by the end of this video you'll have a clear understanding of the basics and how you can make a career in this industry and make lakhs so is crypto the future or is it a bubble you decide for yourself after watching this video till the very end but let's talk basics the first question you might have is what is crypto and why do we need it so imagine you are in ancient times where you buy goods and services through either barter or by gold and silver. But there was a limitation to it. Gold and silver were difficult to carry and secure. So the evolution of currency happened and we got the currency that we use today. The fiat currencies like dollars, euros, and yes, our very own rupee notes. But imagine now that you want to make a big transaction or you somehow got Ambani-like money and you now want to buy that Porsche 911 GT3 RS that you've always been dreaming of. How would you make such a big transaction in cash? Well, it was a common problem and it further led to the evolution of digital payment methods. But even with digital payments, there were some issues. If your bank server is down or if there's any issue with your account, you won't be able to access your money. If you want to make a big payment to your third cousin abroad, you will have to pay hefty charges and it might take days. There's a lot of complicated applications with the way we transact today and most of it is because of the dependency on central bodies. And this is what makes crypto important. Crypto removes the middlemen from the whole system. With cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, we can make a transaction without being dependent on a central authority as it is maintained by the network itself. But you might ask, how does it happen? Well, let's take a step back and talk about the base technology behind crypto before diving into the details. And that is blockchain. But what is blockchain? If you go search this on Google or YouTube, you'll find thousands of resources. But to explain it in the most simplest terms, it is a technology for you to store data and protect it in a way that no one can manipulate it. So basically, if I add data to the blockchain, which says India is a great nation, this fact will remain written forever and will be accessible through past transactions. Think of it this way. Blockchain is a chain of blocks and with each new piece of data, a new block is added. The block contains data that cannot be manipulated and is stored across all the parts of the network. And Bitcoin is a use case of this amazing technology. It is a currency which is controlled by everyone yet no one. And it is this independent nature of this currency which makes it so different. But Bitcoin is not made in the currency. Nahi hai. Bitcoins are made by solving complex mathematical problems using large amounts of graphical resources. And this peer-to-peer -peer nature of Bitcoin removes the involvement of a middleman to process and verify transactions. Several other crypto projects came into the limelight after Bitcoin, but there's one which made the biggest impact. Ethereum. Ethereum, which some of us may also know as ETH or ETH, is often referred to as decentralized internet. Along with this crypto came the concept of dApps, 
or decentralized applications where previously blockchain technology like bitcoin could only store data ethereum revolutionized this by enabling the storage of code in the blockchain let's check ethereum's journey and for that let's first go to bitget i think it's a great website if you're new to the industry as there is a lot of details and info here so in ethereum ke chart mein we can clearly see how it started with about 300 something dollars went as high as 4800 dollars in november 2021 and is currently trading at about 2400 dollars so it has come a long way from where it started in its journey another interesting fact is one of ethereum's co-founder gavin wood coined this really interesting yet confusing term web3 to put it simply it is the third iteration of the internet meaning an update in the technology and the way we interact online let's start our time machine again imagine the early days of the internet as a vast library it's quiet filled with books or in this case websites that you can read but you cannot interact with you're a visitor absorbing all the information that is web1 a read only internet where content is king but dialogue is is non existent fast forward and the internet evolved that is web 2 here everyone is chatting sharing and creating content platforms like facebook and youtube thrive transforming users into both consumers and creators however everything is owned by a few corporations controlling what you see and using your data to their own benefit now imagine we enter the world of web 3 the latest phase where the internet resembles a cooperative in this model you're not just participating you own a piece of the action built on the blockchain technology it promises a decentralized and user owned experience your data is yours The transactions are direct without middlemen and the communities govern themselves. But what led to the sudden crash of a market which was booming so fast, making crypto and web3 the talk of the globe to a point where even a strong cryptocurrency like Bitcoin fell below 16 to 18000 dollars people often mention how crypto is heavily volatile its value can change dramatically in a matter of moments but why is crypto so volatile now we have to understand ki kisi bhi cheez ke price ghatne ya badhne ke teen important reason hote hain number 1 people's interest the more people are interested in something the more they will want to talk about it and get involved people see the price of crypto rising think that crypto is a fantastic industry hence start investing which increases its demand and hence increases its price even more number 2 money influx at the end of the day the game is all about the market cap that is the money invested in the market when a venture capitalist or investor shows interest in a project they pour money into that crypto which causes a significant impact on its price due to the sudden influx of money number 3 product utility the most important factor is utility or use when crypto and web3 prices peak thousands of crypto projects try to make their place in the market however many of these projects are either not useful or not user friendly and when such projects disappear from the market people's trust in the whole industry falls drastically which leads to large sums of money being withdrawn now that we've covered the basics let's get back to the topic crypto ko leke there are a lot of confusions majorly there are five reasons which i think will help you understand it better number 1 is regulations one of the biggest challenge is for crypto is government regulations there is a global debate on whether crypto should be legal some countries like el salvador have fully embraced bitcoin while others like china have put strict restrictions on it these regulations create a lot of confusions and distrust in people if they should trust a crypto project and which platform should they choose to invest so if you are having trouble deciding on a trustworthy and easy to use crypto exchange you can always check out the one i tried which is bitget i have tried it for a while and it's a great option for you to check out number 2 market understanding the crypto market is flooded with projects but there is a confusion over what should be created what problems are needed to be solved and how to solve them in a trustworthy manner this uncertainty leads to many projects failing and causing market disturbances number 3 awareness a very small percentage of the global population is aware about terms like crypto web3 and blockchain so the lack of awareness of technology its solutions and its vision is a major problem number 4 misconceptions about crypto nowadays many people believe that crypto is a get rich quick scheme believing that it is a easy way to make big money 
However, it is important to understand that crypto is a technology with a developing community and ecosystem. It should be approached with a clear understanding and not seen as a shortcut to riches. Number five, Bitcoin halving and market correction. One of the biggest events in crypto is the Bitcoin halving event, which occurs every four years, where the reward for mining Bitcoin is halved. For example, mining rewards went from 50 Bitcoins per block in 2009 to 25 Bitcoins per block in 2012, then to 12.5 in 2016, and to 6.25 in 2020. This halving reduces the influx of new Bitcoins, increasing the price due to basic supply and demand economics. However, this four-year cycle often leads to the market reaching a peak, followed by a significant crash, which is why you see the extreme volatility in the market. In this graph, we can clearly see that after every Bitcoin halving, the prices start to rise. After the first Bitcoin halving on 28th of November 2012, Bitcoin was at $12.22 and after 365 days of having it grew 9,218% and reached $1,178. After the second Bitcoin halving on 9th July 2016, its price was at $657.61 and after 525 days, it grew 2,938% to reach $19,800. And we all witnessed the third halving on 11th of May 2020, jahan se its price grew to an all-time high till date of $64,000 in November 2021. And this crucial event is going to take place in just a few weeks. The fourth Bitcoin halving is expected to happen sometime around April of 2024. So after learning so much about crypto and its base technologies, I have the perfect place for you to get started with it. BitGet. Although I'm Team Ronaldo, if you open their website, you'll see that Messi is their brand ambassador, which is pretty cool. BitGet is one of the largest platforms in the world, ranking fourth or fifth globally. They have hit a whopping $10 billion in trading volume in just 24 hours. It shows that they are super reliable in getting your prices right and keeping your investment safe. With over 20 million people using BitGet, it is one of the most trusted exchanges out there. Using BitGet, you can start investing, staking, or trading crypto very easily no matter where you are. They have got tons of info to help you out too. Their exchange has all the info on what coins are hot and what the real-time prices are in the market data section. And there's even a spot section for more details. BitGet has got everything you need all in one place. If you've understood the volatility of crypto and you want to invest in Bitcoin, Ethereum or your favorite coin, then BitGet is definitely worth checking out. There is also this amazing feature on BitGet called Candy Bomb. The Candy Bomb feature on BitGet is all about completing tasks and making referrals to earn free tokens. And here is how it works. When a new campaign kicks off, there will be a specific set of tasks that you have to complete. These could be anything from trading a certain amount, holding a particular token and getting your friends to join BitGet using your referral link. And once you complete these tasks, you get tickets which can lead into tokens being dropped right into your wallet through airdrop. To get started, simply sign up for a BitGet account or log in if you already have one. Then go to the candy bump section and hit register to join in. Only after after registering, will your activities count towards earning free tokens? Complete the task within the event's time frame, and you might just be one of the lucky winners to win those free tokens. There is a link in the description for you to register on BitGet, but usse pehle, watch this video completely. Now let's talk about opportunities and the next action plan. There are mountains of big opportunities in this industry as it still needs a lot of work. You can either help a good project that you believe in or work on a revolutionary project yourself. And if you're a non-tech person, you can get into the following roles. Number one, community manager. The whole industry of Web3 is based on community building and community managers are at the forefront of it. They engage with users on platforms like Discord and Reddit, organize events to boost interaction, collect feedback for product betterment and ensure discussions remain positive. So the job mainly involves creating strategies to strengthen and grow the community. Number two, social media growth experts. Crypto industry majorly resides on X and companies are always looking for good growth experts who can help their projects reach the masses. Their job is to focus on developing and implementing strategies to grow the followers and engagement, analyze trends to refine these strategies and interact with the followers to foster a loyal community. And lastly, product managers. In a fast evolving industry like crypto, product managers play a vital role in helping every team collaborate in such a way so that they stay ahead of the curve. Or you can also get into technical roles where you can get crazy high salaries. 
like number one developer relations devrel helps maintain relations and partnerships with the developer community they help organize events judge hackathons and represent the brand in the developer community number two smart contracts engineer they are at the forefront of the technical roles in web3 i have many of my solidity and rust programmer friends who have made a fortune as a smart contract developer and lastly blockchain architecture engineer this role focuses on creating and improving the structure of the blockchain systems. They ensure these systems are secure, efficient, and scalable by working closely with developers to build and enhance blockchain platforms. To conclude, this was a bird's eye view of the ins and outs of the crypto industry. If you have any interest in this, I would encourage you to read and learn more about various segments that you are interested in. Crypto, NFT, Metaverse, DeFi, DAOs, and much more. So start learning more and more about the use case that excites you the most and unke available products ke saath interact karna and communities mein participate karna shuru kar do and that will help you understand it even better if you found this video helpful and you're able to make the answers for the questions you had at the starting of the video let me know below in the comments and thank you so much for watching hit the like button share this video with your friend share this on social media by clicking a screenshot this means a lot if you watch till the very end thank you so much I will be making a lot more videos on awareness about crypto and Web3 and this whole space. So let me know if you're interested about that in the comments and I shall see you all in the next video.